I call it friggin' because I'm jigging for frogs using traditional fishing gear. When I'm casting, I'm just looking for a frog and I'm trying to put the lure near that frog. I can see one along the edge of the cattails here. So I'm just gonna try to pitch it out there onto the moss. And that splash will kind of catch their attention. See one just move for it. And now I'm just gonna kind of lightly jig while I reel in slowly. And I'll let it sit for a minute. See there, there's two going for it now. And I'm trying to just entice a strike like that. And then you set the hook and go to reeling. So you can see the, the lure is in its mouth. He took the whole thing. You can see right there where the hook is coming out. To remove the hook, you're gonna grab the frog by the back, by the waist basically. And you just wiggle it out like you would out of a bass or a crappie or whatever and pull that hook out of there. So that is an American bullfrog. So this is a male bullfrog. It's got a yellow underneath its chin, pretty bright yellow. Females would be all white under their chin or off-white. And then if you look here at their, at their eye and their ear, this circle behind their eye is their tympanum. It's their external ear. If the tympanum is larger than the eye, then it's a male. If that is the same size or smaller than the eye, then it's a female. So you cannot transport live bullfrogs away from the water where they were caught, just like fish. So you have to dispatch them. And I do the same thing I would do with a fish. Have some ice and a little cooler and in they go. Bullfrogs are the largest frog species in North America. They are native to the eastern part of the United States. And any bullfrogs that you find in the West have been introduced. I would encourage people that if you're gonna go out um, friggin', that you keep every bullfrog that you catch. Mainly because they're introduced and are considered invasive in some areas and, and can have a negative impact on native wildlife. So, remove them, especially if you're fishing in May, June, July during the breeding season and you catch a female, keep it. Because you could be keeping 20,000 eggs out of that pond just by keeping that female. All right, hook set and we're in. In Idaho, the regulations say that because they're a non-protected, non-game species, you can catch them by hand. You can also um, use spears or archery equipment if you wanted to, or any fishing tackle that you would use for a game species. There's no bag limit. You can take as many as you want. You do need a fishing license if you're gonna, if you're gonna try to fish for them in any way. Oh, here comes, he's going. All right, he's got it. I'm just gonna keep jigging while it's in his mouth. Oh, think I got him, think I, oh, he spit it out. He just juiced you. Ah. <laughs> He's crafty. <laughs> of course, I got hooked on a cattail. This is all trial and error. Like I'm still learning what works and what doesn't. There's not really a wrong way to do it. And so I would encourage people if they wanted to get involved, sure, try the method that I'm proposing, but try other stuff too. I'm gonna sneak around the pond and around the other side of this tree habitat requirements, like what to look for if you're looking for a bullfrog spot. Any water that looks similar to this, I would think there's probably bullfrogs in it. But look for calm waters that are relatively warm and relatively shallow, that have vegetation around them. That'll conceal your approach. If you can hear bullfrogs call, which is that jug -o rum call, that call right there, tells you there's frogs there, so fish it. If you see tadpoles, big tadpoles, there's bullfrogs there, fish it. Okay, so I'm coming right at him with the bait. Oh. I actually kind of like this more than I like regular fishing. I hate to admit that, but I can easily get to a spot doing this with tackle that I already have, and 
the sight fishing part of it is really exciting to participate in because you can see the frog the entire time. You can see how they react to your bait, how they react to your cast. You can watch them while they eat your bait and decide when to set the hook. Frog on. I still like fishing a lot, but I like this a little bit more. <laughs>